Hey everybody, this is Dave here at Pulp Alley, and today we're going to talk about our terrain. We're going to take a... So one of the questions that comes up fairly often is, where do you get your terrain, and what scale is it, and yada yada. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at everything that we have set up for our, our next game, and we're going to talk about where we got it, and, and where you could get it, maybe. You know, the, the thing is, is that... Uh, <laughs> Some of this stuff we got so long ago, I don't actually remember where it came from. So there's some things that I'll just give my best guess. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So maybe that's one thing that you guys could help me with too. If you recognize something that I don't actually remember where it came from, maybe you can, maybe you can help us out and leave a comment below. And while you are at it, Please take a moment and click that like and share and subscribe button for us. Hey, one more thing I wanted to go over today before we get started is a big shout out to a couple folks that uh, have been really kind and are sharing some Pulp Alley videos out there. And you definitely want to uh, go check them out after you finish watching this video. There is Brian down in Texas and he... he uh, his videos go under the name Weird World War II, I think. Um, and Brian posts some really fun games. He puts up, uh, he plays with his uh, fiance Mel and his daughter Lola, and they have a lot of fun playing different games, including Pulp Alley. Definitely worth checking out. I think they already have about three different Pulp Alley scenarios posted up. So uh, look down below when you finish watching this video and uh, uh, there should be a link down there to go check out some of Brian's videos. And the other one that you need to take a look at is by Skirmish War Games or Skirmish Games. It is Lee and Lynn up in Colorado and they just posted a really fun Christmas special a uh, crazy scenario playing the Dead Rise uh, scenario out of the scenario's book and doing it with a Christmas theme. So you have Santa and Mrs. Claus trying to defend the Christmas village from the forces of evil. How cool. Definitely you got to go check that out. Now, we do. We get a lot of questions about our terrain. So today we're going to go around and we're going to talk about everything that we have set up so you guys will know where we get our stuff from. So I got to get the camera and then we're going to take a tour of the table. All right, so we're just going to start in uh, this corner over here and we'll, we'll go around the table and just, just talk about a bunch of the stuff. So, for, for example, I, I don't know where this thing came from. This, I, I do. It, it's a, a buddy of ours, Steve uh, Stratton, Stratton in, in California, sent this uh, resin piece to us. Uh, I have no idea who the manufacturer is or, or, or where he got it from, but very cool old piece of uh, just a, a little resin piece of terrain. Now this train is an O scale train on a HO track and it's typically called on 30. So it's, a, it's an HO track with an O scale train. And if you search on eBay or something like that, you can find these trains uh, this on 30 scale and it works really nice. I, I think it does. O scale uh, is about a 148th scale and it works really good for 28 millimeter miniatures. So there you see uh, Phantom Ace riding on the train there, hitting the rails. Uh, this road is just something that we scratch built. Uh, it is some hobby material that we got at Hobby Lobby with some uh, textured paint on it. And that's what that road comes from. We did an entire video about our vehicles, but these are 148th scale ACE models from the Ukraine. And that's where these cars here come from. I really like 148th scale uh, vehicles. Those are the sweet spot for me if I can find them. But sometimes uh, a 143rd works also. And this is 143rd scale die cast 
truck here. And you know, for a truck, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's just a little bit bigger. It, it still works really well. So that is our die cast truck. And then the last vehicle I'm going to show you is this Tamaya bulldozer that's back here. Again, a 148th scale Tamaya bulldozer. Very cool little vehicle there. So that covers all of the vehicles. Now I wanted to show you some of the beautiful foreground terrain. These, this terrain is by a company called Foreground in the UK. Um, you know, and as far as I'm concerned, they're, they are the cat's pajamas when it comes to, to, uh, to terrain. Uh, just a massive, massive catalog of all kinds of stuff of so many different genres. Uh, you gotta go check these guys out. Foreground, uh, and it, of course it comes apart so you can play on the interior. It, it's kind of hard to do one-handed though. It is, uh, it is, uh, comes pre-painted and uh, just, just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, now, as well, Foreground did this one. Foreground also did this shed back here that we have. Foreground, I'm, I'm fairly sure this little piece was a foreground, this little outbuilding. These fence sections are foreground also. So those are things that you put together that you, you know, they come uh, MDF and you have to kind of glue them together. So that's the foreground stuff. Just absolutely beautiful terrain, highly recommended. Highly recommend getting the foreground terrain. Let's see, uh, I also use a lot of Woodland Scenic uh, terrain and it is specifically, I usually aim for things that are O scale, again for O scale, in, in trains, uh, that's what this is, is, uh, well, they, they, I don't think they actually put a scale on it, but it's a six or seven inch uh, tree, something like that. And what I do is I, I don't even paint them, I don't do anything to them, uh, other than I stick them on a metal base, put a little bit of texture on that base and uh, poke it in there, and, and that's, you know, just to give it a little bit of weight, and that works out really nice. So all of my trees, are uh, Woodland Scenic, I believe, is where those are. There's one there, and then there's another one back there. Another piece, other pieces that I get from Woodland Scenic are these uh, these hedges, and and you can you can mine a lot of cool stuff from uh, O scale train sets. If you look in the, in uh, around in O scale trains, you can find a lot of fun stuff. So this is basically like a spongy sort of stuff. I'm sure if you could find it out there, you could cut it yourself. But uh, these come pre-cut, and it was a big old package of them. You can see them scattered all over the place. And I think it even included these little pieces, these little round hedges here, these little, um, I don't know, cylindrical cone-shaped trees out here. Um, another thing that is from Woodland Scenic is a bunch of these gravestone markers are also Woodland Scenic. Uh, another piece that came from O Scale Train Set, and I don't remember exactly the manufacturer, but these uh, these little benches here were Woodland uh, were O Scale from from different train sets. Uh, some of these, some of these graves are things that Mila just scratch built, and if you look at them, there's, there's nothing on them. Sometimes she scratched a name or something on there, and they're mounted on pennies, uh, one cent each for the bases, and a little bit of texture on the, on the penny on the top side, adding some woodland scenic, uh, tufts or flowers on there. And that's the graves. Uh, the vast majority of the graves are done like that. Some of them are manufactured pieces that we got from Woodland Scenic. There you go. It has a name on it there. And then some of them are, are just pieces that Mila put together and made on her own. So very cool. Way back when. Way back when. Um, now, some of these uh, more elaborate graves I, are resin pieces, and I believe they may have been Grindel or somebody like that. I honestly, I had them so long. These, these are probably 30 years old at least. So old that, that I really don't remember anymore where I got them. 
uh, another resin piece here. Just, you know, you got to hunt around for that sort of stuff. This again is that foreground fencing. Hey, check out these cool buildings over here. These buildings are by Crescent Root, and I'm not actually sure that these are available anymore, but uh, Crescent Root has a, a great collection of, of buildings as well, so definitely worth checking out. And their buildings come pre-painted and pre-assembled. They're basically ready to play straight out of the box. Great stuff. These bags back here, these bags here are from... Uh, I believe some Hearst molds sets. So this is something that I, uh, you get a mold for this and then you can pour it and cast it yourself. Is that focusing? And, and then we painted it. So that, that we made uh, from Hearst molds sets. Same way with this piece here. And then you find them scattered all over the table. These flower uh, things out here, uh, planters, holders, are by uh, Sally Forth. Sally Forth made these. Now, I don't remember if the flowers were something that came with those planters or if that's something that we got from Woodland Scenic for oat scale trains. Um, so, uh, I, I don't remember on those. They either came with those or, or we bought them separate and, and stuck them in those little planters. Sally Forth made the little planter pieces at the very least. I don't remember where I got this little... Uh, this little lamp post here. Let's see. Uh, the brick walls were scratch built, and I'm going to try and come up with a better source for these. But I, I, I built these myself. Uh, they are made from molds uh, that we got, and then we we just kind of cast them in uh, brick uh, wall pieces and the, the little columns and everything. Uh, gosh, I don't remember what the company was. Anyway, I, I, I don't know that I'll actually make any more of those. Um, then I have this, uh, these, uh, these fences here sections, and that's something that I designed and 3D printed. So those aren't really available. You can find stuff like that out there though. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? These are old, uh, these old things here, and I, again, I don't remember the company, these old barrels, uh, old beat up barrels, really cool. Don't remember the company though, unfortunately. You just have to search for, uh, gosh, I'd say those could be even like 135th scale or do search for uh, just, you know, resin barrels or something like that, I don't know. Uh, these tr uh, trash bins are really cool, I like these. Um, see if I can get it to focus. There it goes. Um, now I just added the little bits of trash in there to give it a little bit of something. The lids do come separate, so you can either have glue the lid down on top of it, or you can, uh, leave, leave the lid separate. And, uh, again, I, I just did a search on the interweb and I found a fellow that was selling these and I was looking and I, they are O scale. They are O scale bins. They are mainly used for trains, but they work really well for this. These crates I use a lot. And again, these are Hearst molds. These are cast out of uh, Hearst molds, painted them up and that's what those are. Woodland Scenic again on the tree. Don't remember where I got these angels. I got two of these angels. If anybody remembers out there, leave a comment down below. Got two of those. But they're kind of like those uh, creepy angels uh, from like Doctor Who or something like that. Very cool. Lots of more gravestones. This little piece here is from uh, Miniature Building Authority. Definitely have tons of great stuff. So worth going through and checking out. Uh, o scale bench, probably a Grendel resin piece here. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I had these crates so long, I don't remember where I got them from. And then this luggage set, gosh, again, I, I unfortunately, I just don't remember where I got them from. So, uh, you know, I, I can't really tell you on that. All right, that is the tra the uh, terrain set up for this scenario. All right, all right, that, that's it for today. That's all the time we have. So I, I hope you enjoyed that little tour there. Sorry, I don't remember where everything came from. Oh, I didn't mention this little 
I don't know if I can show you that. You know, this was robbed out of just, uh, I don't know if you can see that. No, oh, got it. Um, a little water pump, a little plastic water pump. And this came out of one of those ridiculous, you know, really cheap plastic uh, cowboy sets like you'd get for children and stuff like that. So you can find this sort of stuff. Just You just have to keep an eye out for it. I'm not overly particular about the scale as long as it looks like it's something that, that works for our scale. In other words, it doesn't matter. I, I don't specifically look for 148 or 156 or 143rd. Uh, or O scale or whatever. I just I'm just looking for things that work for our scale. A good starting point in my mind, or in, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is 148 and O scale. That's you, you can't go wrong normally if you find stuff that that is O scale and 148. And from there, you know, you, you can find other stuff. Uh, uh, you can find other stuff as well. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know. If you'd like to see more of our terrain, if you have any questions, let me know. If if you have, if you know where some of the stuff came from that, that I can't remember anymore, leave that down in the comments. And while you're at it, please take a moment and click that like and share and subscribe button. We really do appreciate your support. And that's all for today, boys and girls. We will see you next time. This is Dave. Bye, everybody.